Hi guys, my name is Brian Moshiri. Welcome to my channel. Uh, I know it has been a while since I last posted, but I'm back now and I have more stories to tell and more education to give you guys so that you can continue knowing each other and uh, hopefully learn one or two things. Uh, you, you can learn one or two things about me and uh, we can continue sharing on the comment section. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, hit that notification bell so that you can know when uh, I post a new video. So today I would like to talk to you guys about, if you have watched my previous videos then you know that uh, I, I sit on a wheelchair and uh, I haven't done a video that explains why I sit on a wheelchair or how I came to be the way I am right now because I wasn't born like this. I, this is a condition that I acquired about six, six to seven years ago and it was through a road accident that uh, I encountered as I was coming with my friends from Nakuru town, coming from Nakuru to home because uh, I live around the around Nakuru area. So today I wanted to do a video that will hopefully address that uh, that topic and uh, so that again it will be something that will will provide more information about who I am and uh, my journey and uh, where I am and uh, where yeah basically my journey. So I remember the day was. I would, I would backtrack because I remember it was on the 7th of February and it was on a Friday and I had been having classes. I, I, I was in my third year at the time. I was doing procurement science, which is just a, a fancy way of saying purchasing and supplies. It is a business degree that I didn't quite like. So that day, I remember it as a very sunny day. I woke up, do, did my kawaida things and uh, went to school. I used to commute every every day from home to town, to Nakuru town, to, to do in Jaikwat University. So it was just an ordinary day. I went, I did my classes and uh, at the, in the evening I went to, to chill out with my friends like any other university jama would do. So I went to one of the malls. I, a good friend of ours had a movie shop and I remember we chilled there with a few friends of mine and took a lot of pictures. And uh, those were the last pictures that I took when I was on my feet. And it, it was a funny story because I never used to take pictures before then. But that day, we took, a, we took lots and lots of pictures. So at least I have those memories. I can lie to when I think about those days. And uh, yeah, so that day on the 7th, I took my last my last pictures when I was still on my feet and I came home and uh, I used to run a butchery with my dad I used to I used to be in the part we used to have pigs we used to have to to farm pigs so uh, in the morning I would wake up every morning I would wake up and then I would feed them and then I would sweep the the what are they called the pig styes I would sweep the pig styes and uh, we had we also had a butchery so I would help out at the butchery when I came home from school so I did that I helped out and then I went I, after closing hours I went home now and had dinner then I went back to my room. So when I was in my room, I got a, a message from a friend of mine and he, told, he was inviting me for a night out. And this was very, was very uncharacteristic, so un uncharacteristic of him because he hadn't invited me before. In fact, I hadn't been invited out for, I had, I had not been invited for a night out before. So this was something new for me and it was very exciting because lots of my friends were going out and having fun and I come from a very uh, a very conservative family so we are not allowed to go out as much. 
So he called me and then I went, I was so excited. And then I, met, I went, I met him with a, I went and met him. He had two more friends. So we, we were four of us. And uh, when we were talking, we were in the club, we were drinking. And then we were talking and then out of nowhere, it was decided that we were going to go to Nakuru town. Because when we met, we were in a local pub. So he, as we were talking, it was decided that we can go to Nakuru town. And again, this was so, so exciting for me because again it was my first time going out being with friends and enjoying the nightlife so i i got in the, into the car i in the car i only knew the friend who had called me so these other friends of his were were strangers to me so but i trusted my friend so i just went i just went with my gut feeling and my gut feeling told me that it was okay so we went out and then we clubbed hopped a, a little bit and uh, I remember when it got to around 1 a.m., I was I got too tired because 1 a.m. or 2 a.m., I got too tired because I was dancing and I wasn't really drinking that much because I wasn't, I wasn't a big drinker. So I was starting to get sleepy. I was having fatigue. People were leaving the club and the, the guy who had driven us there didn't seem like he was in a hurry. So, and I couldn't drive... I had no means of coming ho back home, so I had to wait for them to to feel it was time to go back home. So I was tired. I wanted to go home, and I kept asking them, "Can we go home now?" And they kept saying, "No, we can go. We can go. We can go." So when it was time to go back home, we used the highway. We called it the Nakuru Eldoret Highway to get to my place, which is in near which is near Kabarak University. So I went. We, we we boarded the car at around 5 to 4, uh, 4 a.m. to 5. It was in the early mornings. And uh, that's when we, we when uh, we were midway, midway through our commute back home, uh, we were on three lanes. We, there was the lane that was going left, there was the lane that was going right, and there was the middle lane. That is used for for vehicles that are uh, ascending a hill yeah they are ascending it's called the climbing lane so we were on the climbing lane and we were trying to overtake uh, a, a, a nissan that was on the other side and now descending in uh, a lot of speed was a trailer uh, a transist it was a uh, it was a uh, it wasn't a petrol trailer. It was the trailer that uh, the kind of trailer that carries luggage. Uh, car it was the kind of trailer that carries that has a storage, uh, has a container. It was the kind of it was the kind of trailer that has uh, container. So it wasn't a an any. It wasn't a a petrol petrol trailer. So it was descending fast, and we were ascending and. The driver was really stepping on it because we could see that this trailer was coming down in very, very, very in, in a lot of speed and he was trying to avoid it so we can uh, overtake the mud and then go back to the lane. So it was coming, it was coming and, and uh, we kept hitting the horn, pressing the horn and, uh, and uh, flashing the lights but this guy could not come out. I guess he was sleepy. So... Uh, the last thing I remember was the headlights being so blinding because they were so close to us. And uh, what followed next was a big bang. Big bang. And uh, I, I don't remember anything else from, from that point. I was seated at the back and uh, there was a guy here, there was a guy here and there was a chick at the front. So we were five in the car. And uh, that day, three people lost their lives. The guy who was seated here, here, and the driver. So myself and the chick, we survived. She survived with minor injuries, just cuts and bruises. And I survived with a spinal cord injury, a severe one. I sustained a, an injury to my neck. So that means that I injured, I fractured my... C5, C7, 
cervical vertebrae and uh, that meant that I lost all function from my armpits down. So what I'm, what I'm told happened after the bang was that in Kenyan fashion, people came to rescue, right? And uh, there was one, there was one, there was one guy who, who volunteered to take a couple of us to hospital. And because I didn't have any physical injuries, I wasn't bleeding, I didn't, I, I wasn't, I was, I was just unconscious. Because I was, I didn't, I did not appear to have any, any severe injury. They took me last, because they thought maybe I was just, I had, I just had trauma, but I couldn't move at the time. So when they put me in the car, they put me in the back seat and sat me down. And when you have a spinal injury, that is the worst thing that could happen. So they sat me down, and my neck was kind of. Now this was story that I was being told. They put me on my side and I was sitting and uh, they drove to the to hospital and to the nearest hospital and that is where I started my my journey, my two month journey to, to kind of reconstruct and rebuild the dam the uh, to that's that's where I started my two two month journey to kind of rectify the damage that had been done to my spine. Thank you.